Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Science Thursday. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at biomass power plant. So let's dive right into it. First thing you have to understand what it is. It's very simple, it's basically burning wood and organic materials and using that heat that is given off by burning these things into a thermal power plant. Basically, it's coal power plant with less steps and it's carbon neutral because if you release carbon dioxide by burning wood or things like that, the next crop of uh, trees or uh, next generation of forest will absorb it. So basically, you are running on solar power, but you are uh, doing it so quickly that it's not like you are adding extra carbon to the atmosphere. Basically, the carbon dioxide that was trapped into the wood, you simply burnt it, it was released. Next generation, basically your next crop absorbed it again and then, you know, the cycle continues. So it's carbon neutral in principle. So why do we have so much interest in it? First, it's very simple. It's not, it's not a new technology. It does not require to you have a silicon industry technology or inverters or anything like that. It's very simple. It's basically coal with less step. Now, many of you know coal is solar power, but only difference is that coal, the carbon trapped into the coal is done uh, in such a way that is removed from the ecosystem basically ecosystem does not have to worry about that carbon we are dugging it out so we are adding carbon that is into the atmosphere that is not meant to be there this on the other hand plants are meant to be there plants like do burn out in like a forest fire basically so in those sort of scenario you are just planting trees cutting them down burning them for power then planting another tree that will absorb the co2 from that emission from the first emission and then the cycle continues basically it's like coal without uh, you have to worry about like waiting millions and millions and millions of years and you can simply run this whole idea through any existing infrastructure basically all our coal fired power plant will work with this so this is very crucial it's very simple no magic mumbo jumbo and it's basically like coal it has the benefit of coal basically it can provide base load power and things of that nature so this is why we have so much interest into this so how does it work well very simple we burn it but be mindful there may be a uh, two sort of structures that are uh, generally common either you burn wood like this like you break them down into chips and then burn it or sometimes you use something like this of course big industrial scale basically where you convert that into wood gas now it uh, has some percent of methane some percent of carbon monoxide some percent of nitrogen and burning them gives you power so each of these steps have their own pros and cons like burning gas does not uh, give you emission of particulates basically there won't be particles from coming out of it burning wood will not give you as high emission of uh, nitrous oxide as this will so there are uh, pros and cons of both of these so what are the cons of this whole structure if it is so simple and it's carbon neutral why the heck we are not using it? first is a small scale the reason we can even mine coal the reason we can even mine lng the reason why we can even uh, think about extracting oil it's like it's the deposit of earth that was done over millions and millions and millions of years yearly earth does not convert enough solar energy into enough uh, hydrocarbons for our humanity's consumption so that is the reason basically think of it this way earth started depositing car uh, you know energy into its uh, various formats like hydrocarbon format and it was like you know storing it's, it was storing very little amount every every day every day every day but humanity comes along and in last uh, 100 and 150 years we start to extract now we are extracting that has been stored for millions of years so even though every day it was very little amount of uh, you know energy that was stored overall the reserve is so big that as of now you can see we think like you know uh, oil is so powerful why no uh, no other system can provide that much power simply because we are like you know draining money from a bank account that has been stored taking uh, interest over millions of years so that is the core reason it's very small scale so even if you start burning hectares and hectares and hectares of forest you will barely get 10 to 20 megawatts so for that reason this is a very small scale system second this has very dangerous emission as in there is a link in the paper below basically it's an article from a scientist and it is true like burning wood is very dangerous the reason why coal does not give out that kind of emission is simply because uh, when coal was being compacted by earth and being heated by earth it started to like basically it's a sort of purification process where other things seeped out of coal in wood that process hasn't happened yet and if you want to burn wood you have to make sure that all the exhaust that is coming out of your furnace must go through what's called a gas treatment basically flue gas treatment and without it 
you are uh, in a scenario where you are polluting much more brutally than uh, basically core burning fire power plant so it, it is very crucial you guys understand that the emission from burning wood is not something to be taken lightly then of course this also creates another paradox because even though your old infrastructure remains the same your exhaust has to be rewrite or rerouted basically your exhaust chamber has to go to flue glass treatment and this is extra cost it's not like you know instead of burning uh, coal you started burning wood that can be done however the exhaust will be the problem if you do that so exhaust does require a new level investments for something like this flue glass treatment and it's only 80 percent carbon neutral now inherently it's 100 percent carbon neutral but problem is that trying to transport that carbon trying to uh, extract that carbon trying to build this sort of infrastructure everything combines it like you know takes away from it so yes it is carbon neutral in principle and yes it does release very little co2 compared to a coal fire power plant 80 percent less but it is not zero emission it's not solar panels where you know even the carbon footprint of a solar panel that like how much carbon you released into the atmosphere trying to make them it can be paid off in like two years two to three years all modern solar cells basically uh, pay off their carbon debt and then they become carbon uh, negative basically so this does not have that like you know clean slate sort of scenario however this i think uh, there is a lot of potential growth in this simply because this can uh, act as a very good add on to your green grid basically think of it this way you have solar as i already made a power, uh, video about solar power solar has reached a point where it's almost reaching price parity basic tldr version of that is that using solar power to make electricity is soon will become cheaper than using coal so we're gonna use that but okay let's say it took care of most of our electrical need during daytime everything is awesome what are you gonna do at night so at night we can use this sort of thing so and it's it does not provide enough power to like you know run a whole country but does provide enough power to run let's say small small communities and uh, this guy uh, did that in, in uh, one small remote area in india and linked into the description below and i would suggest you watch it like he did nothing fancy nothing like you know big scale the electricity that he was generating was barely 100 kilowatts but suffice to say it's a very good add-on to small communities where let's say you have few megawatt of solar panel uh, if you are near seaside you have one or two megawatt of wave power i made a video about wave power there also and if you combine all of these things and then you add this as a green uh, you know battery sort of scenario because this can provide power whenever you want basically let's say you have a scenario where there is no wave there is no solar there is no wind you just burn it because it is like coal it behaves exactly like coal so you can control the output uh, very very efficiently and then you also have to understand this is my desire because recently i made a video about plastics so tldr version of that is that plastic is the best tool we have everything that we use to replace it with they uh, pollute atmosphere much more severely than plastic itself only problem with that is that we forgot to dispose of plastic properly the only way to dispose of plastic properly is burning it burning it in high temperature this is crucial aspect you can't just burn it like you know set fire to plastic you are polluting the whole atmosphere but if you burn it at anywhere higher than 800 degrees celsius you're good now again that also creates emission which requires flue glass treatment would also requires that so you know you can have two in one scenario where you can uh, dump all the plastic burn it safely so basically you are safely disposing of plastic while getting electricity out of that you can put wood also there safely getting electricity out of that so two in one benefit this is my desire because inherently there is not even a single thing that can replace plastic bags or plastic as we use it with even like half the carbon footprint uh, basically twice the carbon footprint basically everything else like steel bottles or things of other nature they take like 10 times 10 times or 50 times more carbon footprint so it's inherently very bad so we have to use plastics only thing we have to figure out is like how to dispose of plastic properly which we can do by just burning it and making sure the exhaust go through flue gas treatment and this is a very good for small scale communities as i already mentioned and the video that i'm talking about is uh, made by united nation so suffice to say there is some context to it you can watch it and be mindful because this in recent years there has been a 
fear of carbon tax so everybody wants to reduce their carbon output and everybody started mining forest in such a way that it's not sustainable we have to make sure that we mine forest sustainably as in like some uh, countries uh, not countries i would say some companies started to uh, drill out the wood stock as in like you cut the tree there is a stump on the ground they started to extract that problem is that if you do that on a slope like uh, as a slope you know you collapse the soil integrity basically soil becomes structurally uh, um, unstable and if rain happens in that time you can have landslide you can remove the entire top layer which has the most nutrition directly so we have to do better management and without that it's just uh, we are just uh, you know reduce we are still reducing our carbon in, carbon emission but we are not doing good job of it and then uh, the soil will become basically un- infertile and after a while that that will be you know pointless so we really have to figure out how to do better management and uh, we have lot of industry that uses wood like uh, wood pellets and things of that nature and wood is a big industry as in billions and billions of dollar in level industry and t- tons and tons and tons of sawdust that can be directly put into this and voila electricity out of that so i do think uh, wood burning for basically biomass power plant will play a important role in our future but i don't think it's going to take the center stage i think center stage is still reserved for solar but this can act as a very good buffer because grid scale storage even though i made a video on that tldr of that is basically no matter what you do you can't store gigawatts and gigawatts of gigawatts of electricity so for that reason we have to have some intermediate power source this can provide that so this was my video on biomass power plant i hope you liked it or learned from it in that case please leave a like if you didn't dislike it i would suggest you comment what you want to see in the next episode of science thursday and please subscribe if you have watched this far just subscribe okay just just subscribe don't press the bell icon just subscribe that's all i'm asking of you and thank you for watching my video